Hello everyone, um, this is Mr. Faith in Physics and I had a little epiphany the other day and it led to an interesting new theory. Now many roads have led to this theory but our first question which may play a part in it is why are our leaders monitoring us? I don't use the word spying because they're not spying on us as if you would spy on individuals. They are watching all of us. And so it, they're, they're monitoring the herd, as it were. And it seems to me that they want to know when we start to know something. Now, I, uh, some speculate that, that what they're watching for is a coming race war. You, you see this on YouTube all the time. But then we acknowledge that, well, is there even such a thing as race? And, and no, there, there really isn't. We know from the Genome Project uh, that there is more genetic difference between two persons of the same skin color or ethnic background as there is difference between two persons of different skin color or ethnic background. There just is not enough genetic diversity between different ethnic groups to, to say my, my, I could have more diverse genetic material with my own brother than I might have with an African-American fellow living down the street. So race really is a myth and we've proven this. Or is there? Now there may actually be a different race, but a race that is not defined by skin color or ethnicity. Now, here's what I mean. I used to joke about uh, that the difference between conservatives and liberals or progressives uh, was, was like you were trying to talk to a different species, you know, and I was joking around. But now, much to my surprise, uh, it seems that we might actually have been on to something. Now, consider this. Uh, first of all, scientists are expecting a new species. We're long overdue for uh, a new emergent uh, feature. Uh, uh, one of the more recent ones, for example, was uh, the, the ability to see in color. And a lot of people don't yet fully have uh, that gene, so there are colorblind people in the world. But we're expecting uh, a new uh, modification, uh, as it were. Uh, the next, let's consider uh, this uh, article about the way in which conservatives and liberals think. And they've actually mapped this out. There's an fMRI study which shows that they use entirely different regions of the brain to process incoming uh, information and thus respond to it very differently. And this is why we feel like we're talking to a different species, they, because they are literally seeing the same information differently. And then finally, we look at this more, most recent genetic study, which suggests that this uh, predisposition to think one way or another actually has a genetic basis. Now, if this is true, uh, and, and we can, we can confirm this, this, this difference in brain processing, uh, which, which radically diverges from, from what would have been the previous norm, then we could begin to show that there are indeed two separate species that have probably been, been living side by side uh, for who knows how long uh, is what. <laughs> but seriously, how will we, uh, of either of these to uh, confirm species react to one another to this information that that well hey we're you know we're Neanderthal and uh, Cro-Magnon trying to get along here. According to the information in the uh, the the brain studies, well it, the two two different species are going to react quite differently. One will have a tendency to be more aggressive and assertive than the other. Uh, so. If this isn't the new genetic upgrade, well, you know, what will it look like? Will it, is it going to be delayed like the Pacific Northwest earthquake, or is it actually going to come sooner than we thought, like uh, dramatic climate change? So that's my theory in the form of a question. Are we the modern equivalent of Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon trying to cohabitate? I wonder how that turned out.
Fortunately, it would seem that at least one of these two groups is far less aggressive than the other. Okay? I'm scared. Merry and Christmas, everyone.